Welcome, welcome back to Chef Primo here in the Clubhouse Kitchen. Uh, thank you for tuning in uh, to the episode before this one, which was uh, lamb chop and salmon uh, with uh, scallops and shrimp. Gotcha. Today we got a treat. We're going to do lobster mac and cheese with jumbo shrimp. All right, now let's go over our ingredients we use for today. Today, for this lobster mac and cheese, we use smoked gouda, shaved parmesan cheese. Uh, we use some uh, lobster base, some garlic puree, some heavy cream, and some salted butter to make our roux. Um, this is how you, this is what you do when you make your lobster mac and cheese to make the mac and cheese absolutely delicioso. All right, boys and girls, today we're gonna cook the roux for the mac and cheese. I think I'm saying that right. First, you wanna start out with some butter. And I make my mac and cheese with garlic, so we're gonna use a lot of garlic paste. So salted butter and garlic paste to start. And that's that cook, the butter melts. We're gonna add some heavy cream in there. Once you make this mac and cheese for somebody, they're gonna love you forever. Don't be shy on heavy cream, because you want it to stay you want it to be more heavy cream so that when you put the, the mac and cheese, the uh, macaroni in there, it soaks up the cream. But you put it not so it doesn't dry it out. So when you put it in the oven, it's going to look like it's watery. Have no fear. Primo is here. Just add, just add some cheese on top. And it's going to, it's going to uh, soak all that um, liquid into the mac. And you'll have wonderful mac and cheese. You can add a little crab base if you like. This is the time you add your salt and pepper. Don't be shy on the salt and pepper because you want to get a heavy, heavy seasoning. Or you can add Obey seasoning, Cajun seasoning, give it a little a kick to it. And as this roll is cooking, you can add some cheese to it. And my rule, I like to put smoked Gouda cheese. Chop it up in cubes so that it melts. It's okay to try one too. Delicious. Add that in there. That smoky cheese flavor enhances the mac and cheese so it's not like everybody else mac and cheese. Add your parmesan. Just stir it up so it doesn't stick to the bottom. It's, it's cooking and simmering. The cheese is melting. You can add as much cheese as you want. If it's starting to get too thick, just add some more heavy cream. And then you just pull this right on top of your mac, your macaroni. And then you want it to be watery, about an inch of water on top, a half an inch of top, and then uh, liquidy, I should say. And then you add more cheese and then you add your Cajun seasoning or your Obey seasoning to give it a little spice. And I promise you, nobody had mac and cheese like that before. The garlic and the smoked gouda together is like magic. All right, first thing you want to do is get you some lobster that was on sale. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but when you cut the lobster, you can use shears or use a sharp knife. Me, I prefer a sharp knife. You place the knife at the top and it's kind of like Tap it until you get down between it. Take your hands and, and, and crush it the sides. And then it's a trick. Take your two fingers. You can kind of pull that meat out. That way when it cooked, it kind of pops out. Alright, you got that done. She's looking real pretty. Cut it down here. We're gonna add some garlic and butter in there. All right, we can just set this right on top. All right, so we're gonna build it. So we're gonna add some shrimp. You can add shrimp, you can add scallops, whatever you want. Today we just add shrimp. Let's place it in there. You might want to peel your shrimp beforehand, but I don't mind doing it. It's quick, easy, and I like cooking. 
If you're lazy, do your shrimp, or have your kids do it, since they're gonna eat. Whoever's eating, whoever you're cooking for, have them cook your shrimp for you. You always wanna have a roll, so you're gonna make this roll is for the mac and cheese part. You're gonna pull that in there, pull it all around, like so. When I make my raw, I use a lot of garlic. I think garlic and cheese is so delicious. And when that garlic and cheese mix with that shrimp, and you just take a little bit of this garlic paste, turn this off, you don't want to burn yourself. Just put a little bit in there. All right, that's good. Take some butter. Like I said, I use salted butter. Always use salted butter. Put this butter in the middle of that little buddy there. I use white cheese in my mac and cheese. So add some of that on top. Now we're gonna pop this in a 400 degree oven for about 15 minutes and we're good to go. Pop it in the oven. Go grab you a beer, some wine. Go kiss your girlfriend. That's how you finish. It's gonna be about two minutes. This is gonna take 10 minutes. You come back and we're ready to go. All right, we got the fresh mac and cheese out the oven. Guaranteed to make your in-laws happy, especially your mom. Put a smile on your white face. Uh, we have lobster with uh, shrimp. We have also uh, Gouda cheese, Parmesan cheese, garlic, and butter for our roux. I want to say thank you for tuning in to Primo, cooking with Primo. Uh, thanks for watching and tuning in. And um, go out and enjoy your day and enjoy this mac and cheese. Peace.